So, Dr. Breck, in this uh, midfoot fusion, uh, I elected to use uh, nitinol plates, uh, uh, compression plates, specifically the ConMed Neospan uh, CIS uh, implant system. Have you had any experience with these implants? Yeah, I, I think, you know, um, I, I have used them and it's become a workhorse for a lot of my fusions um, or even osteotomies. Um, it's interesting because when I first started practicing, I mean, I remember we used to just put a one four zero headed screw across these joints <laughs> and it was always challenging to get the start starting hole. And then you had to do the multiple steps to put a compression screw across and, and then it evolved to some of these staples. Um, and I became a big fan of nitinol very early on um, because I, I, I think that dynamic compression really does make a difference. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, you know, when they, when, those staples first came out, they were the skinny bridges. And so you got a lot of dynamic compression, but you didn't have a lot of strength. And so you'd see these fail. Um, and so then I moved over time to more of the, the wide bridge staples, which gave a lot of strength, but then you didn't have as much compression. And so I, I think the evolution of these plates have been great because I, I think it's the best of both worlds. You've got great strength, uh, tremendous amount of compression, and then the added functionality to add these screws distal to the, the tongs like you have here mm -hmm. that really allow you to span the architecture and, and really get uh, stable fixation. So, so this has become the workhorse for my fusions.